Hello and welcome to episode 2 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This is the short version of episode 2, made for those of you that want quick information. So let's start with the tent information. The problem with the tent being placed near water has been fixed. To place your tent, right click on it and choose drop. So my tent here, right click, drop, on ground. Notice it doesn't matter it's near water. To get it back, right click, take. OK. A tent is useful for setting your spawn point if you die. If you die, you'll then spawn back at your tent. A tent is useful for hitching an animal to it so it does not wander off. When you first start in Worm Unlimited or online, having a tent means that you can tether, you can hitch up one animal that you find to your tent. A tent will slowly rot if left on the ground. Remember to pick it up when not exploring or when you have built a shelter. As you can see here with my tent it's taken 66.30 damage. Um, well it is nearly a year old but by keeping it in your pocket it won't take any damage. But before you go off exploring make sure you set your tent. <clears throat> Excuse me. A tent can be used for storage. So let's drop it on the ground right click left click open you can then store your items within the tent okay digging drag and drop your shovel onto your tool belt like this okay activate your shovel by left clicking on it or you if you've got a hotkey set up press the number hotkey in my case it's control free the ground is split into tiles. Each tile has four corners and four sides. So if I scan over the ground, you'll see lots of tiles. Each of them tiles has four sides and four corners. If you stand in a corner and dig once, it will go down uh, one, so the slope will develop one. So if I go to this corner, if I dig, see it was flat, now the slope goes up one. If I drop dirt on the ground, see the slope is now flat. So you raise and lower land one dirt at a time with each dig action. And once your skill gets to 15 in digging, you can then see what the slope is. If you're under 15 skill in digging, right click, left click examine, and it will tell you the slope. Okay. Okay, now to either dig, you can use the quick bar, which it doesn't look like, I won't net, I have up here. See this, this I'm going to refer to as the quick bar. Now, providing you've activated the tool you need, in this case digging, activate the shovel and then you can choose one of the actions to take on the tile. So we're doing digging. Okay, so that's digging. Next, mining. To mine, dig down in each of the four corners on a dirt tile until you hit, hit rock in each corner. On the very last corner that you hit rock, the dirt will transform into a rock tile and it will not say dirt, it will say rock. Drag and drop your pickaxe onto your tool belt, like this. So once you've hit rock, drag and drop your pick onto your tool belt, like so. Activate your pickaxe. And then either again, selecting, clicking on the rock tile. Remember this is dirt, so just imagine that it says rock. You'll see the graphic changes to the rock uh, texture left click and then you either use your quick bar up here and click mine or right click and choose mine if you want to create a mine entrance select instead of mine tunnel short but sweet now before you go off and start a hashtag of hatred on the gamester for making a video that is too short May I suggest watching the long version of ep episode 2, at least until you have enough followers. And there's the 5 minute timer. 
Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.